Okay, so when you read the the problem, drawing the diagram is a good idea, which is what I did here. In a right triangle, so we know one of the angles is 90 degrees, so that's easy. The measure of one acute angle is four times the difference. So let's ignore, just for a moment, let's ignore this part. The measure of one acute angle so that's going to be this angle right here is four times um, greater than this thing and five, okay? But what it mentions is the other angle, it just says another acute angle. So we're going to name this X and then we can come up and say, well, that's four times and then it says the word difference. That means four times and inside parentheses, there will be a different symbol, which is subtract. And then you just put them in order as you read them, the acute angle and five. So this angle right here is four times X subtract five, and all of that is an angle. Well, what do we know about three angles? We have the triangle sum theorem. So we know that 90 degrees plus x degrees plus 4 times x minus 5 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And then you solve. I'm going to start by doing the distributive here. So that would be 4x subtract 20, and that's degrees, and then we have our x degrees and we have our 90 degrees. Well, x and 4x is 5x. And then I'm going to move to over here. So 90 subtract 20 is 70 degrees plus the 5x is equal to 180. And then now you're just ready to solve. And let's see if that makes sense. If this is 22 degrees, then four times, well, 22 degrees subtract five is 17. Four times 17 is 68 degrees. And let's see, does 90 plus 68 plus 22 add up to 180? And when you do a calculator check, you do get that. All right, so that's it for this one.